Okay guys, hey, welcome guys to another build video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys my survivalist pestilence build. Uh, what you're going to want to do, first three weapons you want on stack is assault rifle, machine gun, and shotgun. I simply changed my SMG over to shotgun damage. And the rest of the build should look the same. You're not going to use any of the talents for the survival ball. But the main weapon here is the pestilence. Now the talent for some reason is bugged out in the game, but I'll read it for you. Hit supply a debuff, dealing 100% weapon damage over 10 seconds. This stacks up to 50 times. So you're basically doubling your weapon damage to that target, depending on how many stacks you have against a particular target. It does not spread to other targets until that target dies. But Vile kind of helps you out with that, but we'll get to that. I also put the Lefty on here for Perfect Sledgehammer with your uh, uh, Flame Grenade. It's just another status effect, and also if you throw it with Perfect Sledgehammer, it slows them down and keeps them in the fire longer, which keeps the fire status effect up longer. Like I said, the exotic on the face mask is going to be the Vile. I have it at 5% armor, status effect hazard protection with a critical hit chance mod. Uh, status effect also applies a damage over time debuff for 10 seconds. Total damage dealt is equal to 50% of your concussion grenade damage and increased by your status effect attributes. This means pestilence is also increased by 50% due to Vile, because it's considered a status effect in the division. So, every time that you hit them, you're doing double the damage on two different pieces of gear. I also have the Everyday Play Carrier, like you guys will see in the gameplay. This will come in clutch. I rolled it with repair skills, status effects, with a critical hit chance mod. You're going to want uh, perfectly efficient. Using an armor kit has 75% chance to, cons to not consume the armor kit. Now, the specialization bonus is increased by 100%. Survivalist has one of the best plate mechanics in the entire game. So, you're doubling up on both the regen and how much armor you receive on your specialization. Uh, the next is the, the next piece of equipment is the four-piece ongoing directive. So, rules of engagement, shooting a status effect enemy will apply a mark. Killing an enemy with that mark grants you hollow point ammo. Uh, the hollow point ammo amplifies weapon damage by 20% and also applies bleed. So, you're also applying more damage and bleed on top of that. So, you're going to have three things going for you when you shoot somebody. When you start the whole entire shooting process of killing somebody with this, you're doing vile, pestilence, and you're doing the bleed. So stack all four pieces of your ongoing directive with status effect as the subcore, which is what I did, and every attribute slot that I could with a mod, I put critical hit chance on it. So basically the backpack and the everyday play carrier. The everyday play carrier will save your life with this build because there's not really a lot of armor regen, which is why my build is kind of different. So if you're finding yourself doing a status effect build and you have literally 0% armor regen that everyday play carrier will save you. Uh, I have the EMP it's a quick status effect that you can put out there and I also have the crusader shield for when I want to go with the sledgehammer and start throwing grenades everywhere. I tried this with the exotic chest piece but I got more return out of vial so don't worry about it Keep that in your back pocket for another build. I promise you, I will be coming out with builds that will help you guys out with that chest piece. But this is the build. Uh, I also put the orbit on there. If you kill an enemy, it grants 20% weapon damage on reload and then weapon swap. Uh, so, if you guys do enjoy this build, use it, copy it, do whatever you need to. Uh, you can find me on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming after Christmas is over with again. So... I'll see you there. My Twitch stuff should come up on screen during the mission brief. And uh, guys, enjoy the tombs with the Rogue Encounter. And I'll check you guys later. We've tracked the signal from Parnell's drone. And it looks like it's coming from the tomb. Hopefully he'll still be there. At the very least, we'll be able to find some of his equipment. I'll sit in on this one, in case you need some support. Me? I just want to see what weird shit this is down to. Rogue Striker drone.
Listen, I know you won't believe me, but I'm on your side. I've been undermining Kinger's operation for months. I infiltrated this network. I know the director was expected to get, but I fucked up. I think it's on to me. I'll leave Kinger to have a I can smell his bullshit from Haven. Be careful, Agent. Wait, I can explain. Join your group. Another agent is now in your group. An agent has left your group. Human remains detected. Analyzing data. Positive identification. Theo Parnell. Rogue agent deceased. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's not that hard to fool them. Another really agent has joined your group. Changed his facial recognition record on this shade database. I fixed the exploit. Shouldn't be a problem anymore. I've been weak. Another agent is now in your group. Striker drone detected.
No network detected. I'm getting a ping next door in the infirmary. Parnell must be there. Projection device detected. Parnell can create holograms of himself? One of those fuckers is more than enough. some classified division records and there's evidence of institutional corruption that goes all the way to the top. You really think the division is insulated from Washington and its political bullshit? We should be working together. Stronger. Looks like he's in the security room at the top of the building. must be where he keeps his research. Try to access it. Active terminal detected. Rogue striker drone detected. Hostile striker drone detected. Vital signs critical. Passing security protocols. All right, Rhodes. Show us what you got. I'm on it, Kelso. Should have this nut cracked in no time, Prince Isaac. You really don't deserve this kind of power. You really don't.
wipe the servers. There's nothing there. Then we need to get moving and get a hold of Parnell. Rogue striker drone detected. Hostile striker drone detected. Hostile radio intercepted. Judge? Please tell me you left your radio on. I'm here. You still got this under control, right? Uh, of course! I'm on my way to you now. The division won't be far behind. Get ready. He's running scared. Sorry, Theo. Can't do that. 
I can't keep cleaning up your mess. Keener, are, are you serious? Keener, answer me. Keener! You've got him cornered. Incinerator turret detected. Hostile incinerator turret detected. Rogue assault turret detected. Hostile assault turret detected. Rogue restore hive detected. Hostile restore hive detected. An agent needs assistance. Rogue line of fire fire detected. Hostile blinder firefly detected. Immediate medical assistance needed. Rogue sniper turret detected. Hostile sniper turret detected. Seeker mine detected. Rogue incinerator turret detected. Hostile incinerator turret detected. Rogue assault turret detected. Hostile assault turret detected. Agent down. Vital signs critical.
detected. Immediate medical assistance needed. I know I've been on the ground this whole time. You go to the door like I ain't got to go back and pick shit up. I know who it was. I wish I would have picked your ass up. I'd die picking your ass up.
An agent has gone offline. Identification confirmed. Agent Theo Cornell. Error. Multiple signatures detected. What the hell? How many of those does he have? When you can't trust anything, shoot everything. This is right in your wheelhouse, Agent.
serious trauma detected. Running some kind of white protocol, and it's gone. Managed to get some data off it, though. Looks like system files, mostly. But I'm pretty sure he tried to access a remote backup server. Backups for the data he wiped at the prison? Probably. It's gonna take a hell of a lot of processing power to find the server, crack it, and extract the files. I've got a few ideas, but his watch is definitely... <laughs>